I know. Okay, so I'm gonna be giving this another go. Uh, I didn't like the way it ended last time due to all the issues and the the adventurers weren't actually going across the entire dungeon. So we're going to try something different this time uh, and not tr give them too many directions to go in. So we'll give them one direction uh, and then <clears throat> we'll see whether or not we can get it working a bit better. So we'll just go through the tutorial building the door. There we go. Give it a generic door. Boom. Yeah, chest. We will still do some parts like the last one and not make it too easy for them to get their money. And now the spawner. Because obviously we can't make it a breeze, can we? Yeah, come out of the building. Click assign the monster. We'll have our little creepy crawly in there. To start things off. Alright. So first things first, get the potion business do it going. We will add a little bit of decorations, which will be uh, these things. Anyone who's watched the last one will recognize these. And we'll be sticking in some traps just so it's not too easy for them. Alright, stick in a torch. I think one torch is enough. Oh, we have enough for two. Perfect. So, basic layout of the first room already set. We're going to obviously go on to the three speed. We'll go up to six coins just to see if we can get things. Uh, oh, there we go. Just see if we can get a bit of money in to begin with. Oh, God. All right, we'll go down to five. Seems like six is a bit too much. First guy was like, definitely no. Uh, got the soul on that guy already. So let's pause it. Oh, it won't let me pause with it. There we go. Now they're still all called Albert Jackson, and they're all still warriors. So there's been another update to different types of adventurers, or even different names uh, but I'm sure that'll come when the release comes out 70 gold what can we oh they won't even let's look old spitters back I wonder if we can change their names no see that would be a good be able to change their names so we can like give boss monsters names. You know, level them up properly. Two souls already. Lovely. No, oh, you got confused there. One visitor left. I don't know if that guy would turn up. He might have been the one who said nope to six. Gold entry. Oh, here we go. Perfect. That's all right. At least we can get our potion business started. And he managed to get some money. All right, first day done, and we got our research done. Yep, we'll sort out the potions later. Uh, we'll start with defense totems this time around. You never know; they might need them. Got our research done and some extra cash, so two forty. Now, probably best just to leave this room as it is, as we're already getting some people dying on that. So let's have a look at what we do have available. Obviously, you've got the, the long room, which we use as hallways. We can still use it as hallways and just get people to go in one direction. Um, what we can have as a flat room. Five by five, that's just nothing, really. And then the eight by eight. I think we'll go with the with the hallways still. You know, they were useful in the last one in uh, directing people. 
Now the question for this one is, do we actually save up for a monster? Or do we just do it like we did the last time? And make it a maze. But we don't really have the money to start the maze yet. So we just leave that there. We do have research on. And the scrolls are there. So maybe we should have done the potion bit, but I'm sure it'll be fine. Let's see if we can go up a gold now without upsetting too many people. And th three times speed. Is that three times speed? I think it is. And we'll just watch from here, see how many people kick it. We've got a soul out of one of those guys. Yeah, nothing in there for you, mate. So we are up a little bit on a gold star. Look up on here. We do have a bit of purple and a slight bit of gold there. So hopefully that's encouraging people to come along. But we are not collecting too many souls at the moment. So hopefully that won't upset too many people. Maybe the potion was probably the better option. We could still do that this round. Chuck the potion in there. See if we can get some more money out of the old uh, adventurers. Day two nearly over. So yeah, we'll stick the potion in, I think. Because uh, that's probably our best option for earning a little bit of extra money. 51% happiness. Okay, so I believe they all paid for the... Uh, for the entry fee. None of them ran away. We have that there. And that's pretty much all we can do for now. Hopefully that will earn us a nice bit of gold as we go along. Let's start the next day. Let's see if this helps any. No point looking at that room. We'll just zoom in here. Uh, it would be nice when they bring the game out if they do change up what types of adventures you get. You know, the basic ones, magic, thief, uh, maybe even paladins, things like that. I'm sure you guys can all think of new other ones. Okay, it does look like we're getting a bit more gold now thanks to that potion seller. Oh, lovely. Doing pretty well. Uh, definitely decent income. We're going to sell five potions already, so that's good. But we've only got the one kill bizarre. I don't know whether or not we should actually be killing people so soon. Just on the first part of the dungeon. I don't believe they level up at all. As we go along. I can't remember if they did in the last playthrough. But that's definitely given us a fair bit of gold to work on our next room with. Obviously we won't make that too dangerous either. Might not even stick a chest in there for now. Um, just work towards the new room. We could save up for a new monster so we have that monster a lot sooner. Okay, defense totem's done. Don't really think we need it at the moment or the respawn pedestal, but we'll go for iron chest. So when things do start happening, we got a bit more money. Well, we can start stealing a bit of money off them. So let's see. Let's, um, yeah, go on, do you know what? Let's, let's add some more of the maze in. Force them a certain direction. That'll do. Uh, we don't have the gold. Oh, that's typical, isn't it? We spent too much on that. All right, well, this one looks like it's going to be a lot slower set up than the last one. But we'll get there. All 
wonder if we can afford to charge them more. Well, I'd rather get them in buying the potions than have them not bothering coming in at all. Oh, yeah, that, that sold out five already. I wonder if that means we should put another one in. Might. Hmm. Don't know yet. Uh, we've got one soul there. It is increasing on our stars, purple and the gold side of it. We don't have enough to level up our spider yet, but I'm sure that'd be fine. Right. Got our kill oh no, visitors, good done. Get our mushrooms. Uh, call him on the way out. He used the potion. And he didn't bother collecting his gold. That's good for us. I do believe we do collect the gold at the end of the day if they don't get it. So that has worked out in our favor. 182. Now, should I put more traps in here? That might make it a bit too difficult. Do you know what? Yeah. Just one more. Just one more. And then we'll concern ourselves with this room here. Uh, maybe... We just stick a room in at the end. Don't have the money for it. What's that? 160. Oof, they are wanting a lot of money. And even the monster spawners themselves are like 200 for the spawner, 250 for the monster itself. So it is quite difficult to get the new monsters in there. Uh, let's just do the decorating on this side first. Because we can put that defense totem in. Because it does increase stats in general, does it not? Let's see if I can find all the research. Uh, boost nearby hero defenses, yeah. Okay. So we will have the maze. Slowly starting off. Maybe we can stick in some decorations here. Just to make the room a bit nicer for people. Alright, let's give that a go. Alright, let's see. He comes in with 16 gold. So we could take one more out of them and they would be able to afford the, um, the, the potions as well. Yeah, so let's do that. Let's, let's raise it up by one. Get some money coming in. So we can get that second room done. We're definitely getting our souls on this one. Up to eight. Down it goes. So he got his loot. And he didn't have to do nothing for it, so that was a bit annoying for the others, I imagine. Okay, we've got that. Oh, extra 150. That should help. We just need 400 for another monster. Should we consider that for the next room? Move this a bit. Or we'll put the chest in there. And you have to fight the monster to get through him. That might make people a bit happier. Or we can stick with just having the monster in the next room. Proper big room, that is. So we've got the iron chests. Gone up percentage happiness by one. Got a few souls that day. Perfect. Research is done. We'll go for light sources. And we've got research complete. Spider eggs, lovely. Okay, so that's only gone up to 318. Mm. 
Do I bother with another monster? Get the monster spawner in there. Give them a chest to pillage and then consider the next room, maybe. Yeah, because we can still stick the maze in. Okay. So get this prepped. And that's pretty much all we can do for now. So we should be ready with that room soon. Just need 250 for the next monster. And then that should hopefully uh, be all ready. As long as people aren't getting too upset with how things are going. But it does look like we're doing all right. Purple's going up. Gold is somewhat staying the same. Yeah. Definitely an idea to stick another potion dispenser up in this one. Do what we done last time. Have a potion dispenser in every room. Hopefully that will uh, bring in a lot more money. None of them seem bothered with the seven. So that's good. And a fair few of them are still buying the potions. Obviously a lot of them are still disappointed they're not getting any gold. But, uh, well, nothing we can do about that at this moment. Hundred and seventy two. We need a good 250 before we can get another monster. Uh, hopefully we can get that this round. I don't think... Well, we're nearly there. That will get us to the 300 gold. So we just need one more visitor to get that. Not quite ready. So, but that 300 would get us a new monster. So we can set this up ready for when that happens. We'll stick a chest in. We won't go with the iron chest for now. Just a basic wooden one. And obviously, we want to be a bit cheeky. Oh, <laughs> don't have the gold for it. But we will be a bit cheeky and get some spikes in there as well. So, if we can do it next round, get the 300. On top of everything else we get, which is going to be like 140 or something, maybe more. Then we should be able to finish this room off. So, let's get that going. And see if we can get the money this round, uh, this day, f and finish that room off. It's looking good with the 123 at the moment. 14 souls. So we can either increase the level of the spider monster or we can increase the level of the one in here. So, you know, it goes from 0, 1 levels for the monsters. Alright, day. We've got a few more left in the day. We've got our visitors complete. So we've got the 300 there. A couple more on the potions. Did they add any more to these? No, they didn't. Okay. But we definitely can get that new monster in there, get this room finished up this round. And hopefully uh, make them a bit happier. Okay, so that's worked out for us. 5.17 and the research has been completed. So we do candles and so forth. Now, it has gone up happiness by a couple of percent. Loads of money in today. Two souls. So we're not killing too many of them at the moment. Uh, what's this one down here? More visitors. Definitely take the more visitors. So we can just do it with more people. Let's see what monster we can get this time. Summon. Is it another spider? Oh, no. We get ourselves a goblin this time. That's good. So we stick the goblin in. They're both small. And should we level this one up, actually? 
We've got enough souls for it, so we'll make him level 1. Make him a bit more of a challenge. And we will stick in our spike traps. Just to be cheeky. And we do have enough for the door. Okay, so that does make the second room done. So hopefully that'll keep people happy. Now, do we get cheeky and stick another spike in here or save the money up so we can have a potion uh, dispenser in here after the after they've defeated the monster? Yeah, we'll save up for the potion dispenser. We can always do with an extra 15 gold for a go. Let's see how people like this new this new room. Alright, are they going to go? Yes, they found it. Uh, two versus one, that's a bit mean. But he did manage to kill one off. So there was some gold looted there. And we got a, a soul as well. Okay. So, so far looking alright, that second room. Okay. He seems to be regularly killing at least one. Yes, those souls. We got cell potions done. Yeah, he seems to regularly kill one off. Which obviously increases the amount of gold they've got in there. We should keep the old adventurers happy at least. And we'll find out at the end of this day, see if the happiness has gone up any. I like the goblin. It's a good little uh, addition to the. Oh, look at that. Took that guy out. Oh, they, they exchanged kills by the looks of it. Then he spawns reasonably quick. Gone up to 61%. Got plenty of souls that day. Okay, that's looking good. If you guys are happy with this new series, just let us know. Leave a comment, like, or subscribe. And uh, I'll keep them coming. Thank you. Bye.